here. Hi, welcome. This is Ronnie and Ryan, love coach. And I'm here today with my friend Moira from Wellness with Moira. And she is a mindset cultivator and tarot card reader. And she does such a great job. I'm so excited. Yay. Welcome, Moira. <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. It's good to see you here. You good to too. See your, your group. Hello to everybody. We had a little hiatus due to um, a virus. We weren't to talk about that. But. <laughs> Um, we are here to talk today about the Good Vibe Forecast and what is happening in the month of June. We're a little late in, in the month of June, but that's okay. Still got half a month to go, and we might as well find out what the Good Vibe is, what's the message for June. So, um, we just had the full moon. Yep, last last Friday. Yeah. Full moon and, an, and a lunar eclipse. Penumbral, and a lunar eclipse. Penumbral lunar eclipse. Yeah. yeah. And so that was a great time for letting go of things, whatever might be, you know, holding your back or no longer serving you or just, you know, preoccupying your mind when it's just not really worthwhile. That was a great time to let go. I did do a ceremony. Good so um, I had, I have, I always have stuff to let go of. So. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> does. It's part yeah. of being human. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Yes it is. So, um, and then I thought what we could do today is our usual where we look at the cards and then we just see what flows from that. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how we get the good vibe forecast. So do you want to go first today, Maura? Sure thing. I, 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 I'm going to shuffle just as how I like to do this is just kind of bring my awareness and anybody who's watching and Ronnie, bring your awareness into just be in this moment. But you know, the thing as you're talking about the good, good vibes and then here we had the the full moon and the penumbral lunar eclipse. This is powerful stuff. We are in a four week period, which started Friday, of not, not just the letting go, but we get to step up and be the most auspicious version of us. So ah. as we let go of stuff, this is very powerful. Like I say, this, this four weeks, just pay attention. Pay attention to how you're feeling. Be gentle, be kind but know that you're up leveling. We are all up leveling. And so whatever your intentions are, they're, they're, they're gonna come about, but not from a place of sitting in your head. Keep coming to your heart. Now, now talking about head, guess what's happening on Wednesday? Did you know what's happening on Wednesday, Ronnie? No, tell us. Mercury's going into retrograde. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. But here's the thing. I love Mercury retrograde, to be honest. I know a lot of people yeah. don't. But here's the thing is, so in this four-week period, this is very much about cleaning up our communication. How are you talking to yourself? So the energy of that is brilliant. Slow things down. If things are not going the way or flowing the way you want them to, then it's time to look at how are you talking to yourself? How are you communicating about and to yourself? So, and I actually really do encourage people to start embracing Mercury retrogrades because they are a beautiful gift if we allow it to. That's the key piece. Oh, this is awesome. So I've just pulled our, this is the energy. What is so this? This is, this is the knight, knight of Wands. I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. So can you see, see how much lush, beautiful green? Yeah. Green is the color of the heart chakra. Yes. So, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is actually one of my favorite action takers. So knights are always about moving forward, mm -hmm. taking action. So I just said to you, we're in a four week period of taking action on creating that up leveled new version of you. What do you really want? Because sometimes we we get too stuck in that wanting and like, is it there yet? Is it there yet? Is it there yet? But this is the thing about the Knight of Pentacles. I call him a bit of the plotter. You see the key piece? And this is something to just breathe into. Put your hand over your heart as we visit this for a moment, because this is big on the heart. You are guaranteed to get what you're working towards. That's what the, this night is, is the guarantee. Now, here's the caveat. Get out of your own way about the timing of it. So if you 
really embrace at your heart level that you are going to get your heart's desire. Now let go. Surrender. Trust. It's happened. It's there. Now you get busy on finding the things that light your heart up. Because there is no timeline here. There's no, oh, it's going to happen next month. Or it's going to happen in, in X amount of time. So really, I, I love the energy of this. Can you feel that, Ronnie? This, 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 it's the, the letting go, getting out of our own way of when. Do you know that? But it's like the, sit, the kids sitting in the back of the car. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yeah. So I encourage your your people to to let go of that. Is he there yet? Is he calling me yet? Is he there yet? Is Am I meeting the right one? Just trust. You have put the right things in, in order and now let go and know that it, it's there. It's just a matter of time before it shows up. So Okay. So the good news is you are going to get what you want. And if you can just relax, it will come. Exactly. Relax and enjoy where you're at. Enjoy all of the experiences that show up and that resonate and that you feel called to do. Yep. Okay. Well, that's always good advice, actually. Uh, not always easy to do, but definitely really good advice uh, because you, you know, all those Chinese proverbs like you can't rush the river and when you tug on the shoots of grass, yeah. uh, then you rip them out of the ground instead of helping them grow. Right. So, um, patience is a virtue. That's what they say. But <laughs> the good news is it says we are going to get that. And I love the horse idea because that being on a horse is very um, assistance related because you're not on your own two feet. You know, you have um, a method of getting there that's actually faster than your own two legs. No, that's well you said. Know, you're right. You have strength in having a horse as your method of getting someplace. So um, so I'm going to think of that as extra oomph behind your um, whatever it is you want. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, I'm going to pull the next card. This is from my own deck, Elemental Wisdom. So let's see what dovetails with that. Oh, this is interesting. What's so this that? is the crystal card. Okay. And it's about focus. Mm -hmm. So the um, the crystal, you know, sometimes we're all over the place. You know, we have a lot of ideas, we're bubbly, we're full of creativity, but we're not giving anything our full attention. So if you want to get where you're going, you relax through the process, but keep your focus. I think yeah. that's really the idea. Because in this card, there's a point. Mm. And um, the point focuses or directs the energy to where you want to go. And there, at the top there, there's that little crystal growing up there. You don't really want to get sidetracked. You mm -hmm. want to stay focused on whatever your main vision is. Mm -hmm. So that's what this card recommends. Stay like focused. It. And remember that this quartz crystal, quartz crystal gives you clarity. Mm -hmm. It gives you Oops, we've lost Ronnie. So it's giving it's giving you you clarity. It's giving you help to 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 feel into what's right. And you know, I actually really like the fact that it came up with that Knight of Pentacles. So I'm not sure if Ronnie, yeah, she has she has totally frozen. So I want to just finish this off for you. So we've got that that guidance that that clarity of following your heart and trusting that you are always on the right track and that you are going to get to where you're going so you're going to get that success so we did just lose Ronnie so um uh, before I go to wrap this up for you I'm just going to here we go. she's back there we go so I was, I just took over and started saying that was a great, a great uh, addition to the, the Knight of Pentacles because you were talking about the focus, the point of that, which was very good. Good. All right. Excellent. So what I was saying next was, did you want to um, 
show us your um the, the soulful women yeah, yeah soulful women deck yeah what's next let's let's get yes. a little more input that's exactly what i was about to do oh and i think this might have come up for us before it's creative cocooning oh and that's that nice. and that's a beautiful beautiful um imagery so here's the affirmation is creative cocooning is a freedom i give myself i create a safe nest for peace healing and calm and doesn't that fit beautifully with what you were saying about the crystal and what i was saying about the the knight of pentacles it is at a nurturing slower pace but it's with a sense of i'm getting what i want i'm getting the results of what i'm intending to do but you're not doing it in the old way of um hustle and stress and 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 expecting things to be showing up at a faster space so this one's just really encouraging you to nurture to cocoon to look after you to look after your heart well you know what's so interesting i think about that is i think um in a way that's exactly what the virus has brought us is uh the ability to or the opportunity to slow down exactly slow and that's, down. A, that's a gift you see the old ways weren't serving us no time no. it's time for us to say okay slow down yeah i actually really like this new pace myself yeah it's, it is very of, nurturing yeah a lot of people like it a lot of people say oh i don't really want to go back to the old way i don't want to go back to work i want i love working at home i think a lot of employers will be more open to it they say people have actually been more productive so absolutely yeah, um, i've heard that a lot too and i agree with it i think that that's an important part and so it makes sense that you you know when you're cocooning you are more focused and you are moving forward but you're working on things you know so and that's what this whole good vibe uh forecast is really about is like what's the energy offering us at this time so that we'll know what to work on what to focus on how to move forward and what we need to know to make that happen Absolutely. so um, i think we need you know one more card so, absolutely one more from you i have the flower flower therapy deck that's from doreen virtue this deck is so unbelievable it's so gorgeous let me just pick and already shuffled oh that's interesting so this is the card i don't I know let's see if i can get it in front of me here that's beautiful Art, there, we go. there we go yeah. past life healing past life healing yeah so okay. it's the forget me not the flower is the forget me not very it's beautiful so it says um the situation has been triggered by one of your past lives heal the past and you bring healing into the present so perfect to have a healing card with cocooning and Absolutely. Going and taking your time and it all fits together and that's another really good thing about mercury retrograde right it's all about introspection and stuff as well Truly. so perfect time for introspection when you get that healing done it does bring it into the present moment you don't even have to know what the past life was no. you just set the intention that whatever my past life was that's bringing this issue up now i thank you and i let it go happy, happy. whatever the learning is that i need and then i release it so that it can be healed and it really can be as simple as that you can do a little meditation with that thought and using those intentions and don't worry about if you have a you know past life visual or which life it was or where none of that really actually matters. It's interesting, but you don't need it. So you can just set that intention to heal the past, learn what you need to learn, and let it go. And this all just flows together so nicely. It does. I just want to add on to, to what you just said, because you're absolutely right about the just feel it, just acknowledge it and appreciate it. If, if there's a past life part, but the other part too, and this is a conversation I had with a client just yesterday, was just be present to your emotions. Don't need to label them or get into why am I feeling like this? She was sharing with me that she just cried. She just needed to cry and she didn't need to get into why, but it passed as soon as it, as quickly as it came. 
just because she allowed herself that she was like in that cocooning kind mm -hmm. of energy and and so that's that's really important part is just just be really kind and gentle on yourself when you're allowing that that healing aspect and it will be so much more powerful for you that way well that's great and you know how wonderful is it that when you don't resist the chances are you can just move through things really quickly. So just the willingness to, all right, I'm crying, let's cry, let's, and then she finished it up, and then it moved on. It's just a perfect example of what we're talking about. So Absolutely. it's not that, you know, in the Good Vibe forecast, it's not that things don't come up. But what we're showing you is the energy, the approach, the attitude that's going to help you move through everything as quickly as possible so you can enjoy what there is. Absolutely. Right? That's the right thing. So things always come up in life, but how we deal with them is really what impacts our life and how we look at things. It's all about the attitude and the belief. Yep. And um, that's why you're the mindset cultivator, because we want to, you know, cultivate the best mindset possible Absolutely. for us to be uh, happy, healthy and fulfilling, to, to have that happy, healthy, fulfilling life. So um, and be in balance be in balance yeah so i'm i'm personally very happy because it's summer <laughs> and um I, we planted our garden in may and it's uh, growing like crazy yeah. and um, that's very exciting and every time i go in the garden i see how much things have changed it changes <laughs> so rapidly you know like um uh, i'm growing um some sunflowers and some zinnia and the zinnias i have are the giant ones so they're you know four or five feet tall Beautiful. And, yeah. Um, so they were so happy last year. They were crazy. They It was just packed with all these flowers. And, um, you know, so we have other things growing in the garden, too. But to me, I guess maybe that's part of my summer cocooning. You know? yeah. yeah. My summer is all about going to the beach because I'm about two and a half miles from a beach. And then um, going into the garden and... Um, just loving the energy of whatever's growing and the elementals and nature spirits or whatever. So I'm um, so excited to have that opportunity. So anyway, we have a very good love vibe forecast because you can get what you want. Yep. And you just have to be patient and know that it is coming your way in its own time as it always is. Yes, truly. <laughs> there really yep. isn't any other way it happens, right? So, but when you're aware that it's coming, you can just breathe. Just breathe. Yeah, yeah. Just let and go and, and have fun. Have and fun. have fun. Enjoy yourself. You might as well have fun while you're waiting. So, if any of you are looking for love, my personal belief right now is that this is a really good time. First of all, summer, number one season for looking for love because people are friendlier. And even though we have COVID to deal with, one of the things that's happened that's really big about love and dating and whatever is... COVID has slowed down the dating process. So it's like old fashioned courtship when you can actually get to know people without rushing into the sack. So nobody's gonna sleep with you and run off because people aren't doing that right now. Absolutely. And that gives you an incredible opportunity to get to know some guys, to see who they really are, to experience if they're consistent and genuine and if they ask about you and show real interest, um, do some video chatting. I'm a big, big fan right now, video chatting. And I can tell you right now, it's not going away. Nope. It's not going to be the new way people get to know each other before they decide they want to meet. And then when you're ready, you can decide, is it worth the risk to go meet somebody? And right now we can meet outside. You can stay your six feet distance or whatever. And you can still get to know people. So if that's something you want to do, please get out there and do that. Good advice. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Maura, thank you so much for being here. And we're going to be, yeah, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to see you again. We had a little hiatus. I missed you. But we'll be doing this monthly. And generally, it's in the first week of the month. So um, watch for it. And we will share what happens in July. So in Absolutely. the meantime, enjoy Have the rest of Thanks so much, Maura. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.